Ruthie and Gladys. All right. You can give them a hand even before they get up here. All right. We're just kind of. Yeah, well, where's everybody else? I sent out the emites over a month ago. Oh, honey, don't worry. They'll be here any minute, I'm sure. How is this, uh, how is this supplemental income going for you? Well, it's been kind of rough ever since Earl died. His pension's run out, and I'm barely scraping by on Social Security. Oh, my. Well, isn't, how's the Tupperware selling going? I know you're selling Tupperware. How's that going? Well, I'm not selling Tupperware ever since the oil prices have gone sky high. Well, honey, what the hell? do with Tupperware anyway. Glad as you being from Texas, of all people, should know that Tupperware is a petroleum-based product. That's right. I forget that all the damn time. So tell me. Ramsey, you look so good. I can't get over it. What else is new? What you been doing with yourself? I'm not sure if you heard or not, but I've been playing a little slide trombone in a local noise project. <laughs> What's the name of it? Uh, the Tone Deafs. Actually, that sounds really interesting. You know, I got into them. How was that? I've been a mega fan of the Glenn Miller Orchestra for decades now. In the mood. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Speaking of in the mood, how is your love life going these days? It's been pretty much non-existent. Well, didn't you just join all those uh, internet dating sites thingies? And... I joined them all. E-Harmony, E-Disharmony, PlentyOfFish.com, Plenty of Freaks. Even OK Cupid, OK Stupid. Oh my! Well, I'll tell you what, and, and, and nothing's. Well, you know what you need. You know what you need. You need a good profile name that'll just draw attention to yourself. I tried that too, hot to handle. I even used the number two. I thought it'd be more sexy and mysterious that way. It is sexy and mysterious. Well, you could have, you must have at least had an interesting date or something from all that. I had an interesting date, all right. Let me tell you the whole story in full detail. I met this guy. He finally answered my ad. He asked me out to dinner. But all we ever ordered was the rarest of steaks and a Bloody Mary. That is unusual. At least was he handsome to stare at from across the table? I wouldn't say he was very good looking. Pale face, pointy haircut, old fashioned suit, and he always had big bags under his eyes. Well, you are the fashion connoisseur. Oh, you know it. <laughs> anyway, it gets even weirder. You know I like to go on picnics. You love picnics. We always go on picnics. Why well, ask him two or three times, but he's always sleeping all day. Well, you know what, honey? He just might be a musician. They just don't have jobs and they sleep all day. <laughs> he does always play this antique harpsichord that I can hear as I'm driving up his foggy driveway to his mansion on the hill. <laughs> well, honey, maybe he's just, um... Maybe he's just... A magician? No, I don't think it's that he's a magician. Did you ever go... Did you do something special? Didn't you ever take him out to dinner or anything like that? I tried to make him with my, fa my famous eggplant parmesan, but he wouldn't eat it because he said it had garlic in it. Honey, a lot of people these days have them food allergies. That's real popular. What well, gets even weirder? One day he walked past my vanity and I couldn't see his reflection. Well, honey, maybe he's just an illusionist or some kind of magician or something. He's a regular Chris Angel, all right. <laughs> but one day when he was awake, I asked him to go check the mail. When he came back in, he was sparkling all over the place. And I just cleaned. Oh, my. That, that is unusual. At least, can you tell me, was he an older fellow or a younger gentleman? One day, after we did our business, his trousers were left on the floor, so I checked his Transylvania driver's license. He was born in 1840. Oh, my. Ruthie... Okay, I have just put one and one and one and one together, and I don't know what that all, all adds up to because I can't do math in my head, but I have just figured something out. First of all, I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, he is not a, uh, a, a steampunk, all right? He, he is not, a, he is not a, a death meddler, not even a Norwegian black meddler. He is none of those things. Uh, and number three, he is definitely not a cross-dresser. He is not that. And now, number four is now, now he is not a gay, but he is something that is commonly confused with a gay, and that would be, God damn it, Ruthie, you've been dating a goddamn vampire. A vampire? Yes, a vampire, Ruthie. No wonder he's always leaving sucker bites on my strokers, the big buns, like sparkly ones, and that twilight, a vampire. 
That explains why you don't go down on me once a month.